yeah so i wanted to put out a video talking about what i think are the best controls the for the new hero life weaver um you know as someone who plays support often i run into a lot of issues in my opinion with some bad control schemes uh particularly moira and kitiko off of release um and maybe someday i'll do a video on those heroes but today we're just gonna be talking about how to optimize your damage healing and just overall smoothness in your gameplay when using life weaver what i want to show with life weaver is you know i have the uh dash on shift which is i think what it normally is uh but the ability four which is pulling is on my mouse button i think that's kind of uh i think that's a kind of a good go-to for many heroes is to use the back mouse button uh if you got you, if you got any buttons on your mouse you probably should be using them um, but the most important thing, I think, for making everything smooth with um, Life Weaver in terms of, you know, minimizing your hand movements, doing damage and doing healing, is what we place change weapon on. Uh, this was the immediate thing I noticed when Life Weaver came out a couple days ago. Um, but yeah, so you might want to consider putting change weapon or is it previous weapon next weapon doesn't matter which one it is um but putting it on your right click i believe normally the flower is on uh right click but putting swap weapon on your right click and then i have flower i believe on yeah scroll up uh because i already have my mouse button doing something uh, my back button so i have scroll up as the flower but you can essentially just be hitting left mouse button the whole time and smooth transitions if you're not reloading smooth transitions in between healing and shooting and then kind of how bastion used to be with his turret mode is if you do enough healing in between right and i'm not i haven't lifted my uh pointer finger this whole time but if you do enough healing in between, you know, getting them up full health, go back to shooting. Just like Bastion used to be with his turret form, you get a reload when you swap. So the longer you have the other weapon on, um, there's a I don't know what the time frame is, but you end up getting that reload when you swap over. So I'm at 6 right when I start shooting again. I would recommend putting swap weapon on right click and you can just keep doing your thing. There we go. People might be asking you, Ice, what are your qualifications for telling me how to place my buttons? Well, really none because everybody should figure out what's best for them. Uh, but I do have a master's degree in human factors, uh, psychology, and I've done a lot of work on usability. And I currently have a full-time job uh, in human factors. So uh, this is kind of the stuff that I think about day in and day out, especially when I play games, uh, which is why a lot of the controls for heroes I have swapped around. So I'm always trying to optimize how to play a hero. Yeah. And I play support. There's that too. This way, when you're swapping between as well, you don't have to pick up any fingers to swap between heals and damage. Because if you have it on right click, it's just a simple swap. You don't have to do any claw form with your right hand to scroll down or press one or two and take off movement. You just have it there. Smooth as butter changes between heals and damage. 
minimizing downtime between your output. And that's why you should listen to me. 